Guys, joining me now, the all Pulitzer Prize Bobby winning. Lashley. That's right. Look and at that beautiful belt, kit. beautiful outfit, award winning journalist. They must have requested in her to interview. Over a week at full gear, you'll be having your first official wow, match here in so AEW. In that. Hell yeah! Strickland. I mean, he is one of the most dangerous men Dude, he's busting in all out of that professional suit. wrestling. One of the most decorated champions we've had here in yeah. AEW. Do you feel prepared for this? Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Where did you get your journalism degree? Don't don't answer that. Don't answer that. Let, let me show you how this is done. Bobby Lashley, you are without question. The most indomitable force Lost in professional world. wrestling today. One of the most decorated champions in the history of the sport. How does it feel to know that in less than two weeks, you may end a young man's career? You see, Renee, Swerve is dangerous to everyone else. But I'm going to make an example out of him. I will hurt Swerve. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, you yeah, whatever. Give me my microphone Lashley. back. Swerve Strickland will be in action later on tonight. And we will be watching. That's how it's done. Thank you very much, MVP. Cool. See, she has no respect for him. No. Well, Nigel McGinnis, if there's one thing we know about wow. Bobby Lashley, yeah, Mox is, is going to whip his, his ass word. now. He, has promised to hurt he doesn't word care about AEW very anymore. He's like, you're going to be talking oh, to my girl. What's going on? Claudio Castagnoli, the steel chair in hand. That's J.D. Drake. J.D. was scheduled to compete later on tonight. Yo, why is J.D. Drake just getting his ass wet? What the hell did he do to anybody? The chair into the back of J.D. Drake. Oh, we knew they were going to take over, but they are anybody in their path. This is, Tony, this is just an unprovoked assault. J.D. Drake was bothering no one. I'm sure he was preparing for his match coming up a little bit later on tonight. And here comes Moxley. See that? What, someone's trying to get a high five? Yeah, and then, and then Marina was like... Last week she gave him a high five, remember? Oh, and that was on Collision. She couldn't help herself. Yeah. Marina is his bodyguard. I'm telling you! She's got that million dollar title in that belt in that suitcase i think i think that's what's in the briefcase y'all tell me is that the, is the belt in there or it doesn't look like the belt would fit in there though i don't think the belt fits in that suitcase. look at dude maria yeah. the fucking cool name she's gotta start whooping some people's asses she needs to have a match maybe or i don't know maybe not Riders. I love him being the champ. They weren't, they weren't kidding. I never want this to be over. The rules. Moxley, AW World Champion, doing as he pleases. You should expect it's pretty perfect. Less from him. I, yeah. It's pretty good. I'm sure they're doing some kind of takeoff of some show or something. We're just ignorant. Tell me in the comments. Is there some kind of movie or some kind of character? Or there, video game. Video thinking. game or something they're kind of building this off of? Or is I've it just all original? About Orange Cassidy a lot these last few days. Boo! He's playing the game very well. Chuck Taylor is drinking his food through a straw. Well. Because you couldn't save him. Wheel of Yuta belongs to me. He believes in me because you couldn't save him. And you're undeterred. Hands in your pocket, eyes on the prize. Orange Cassidy, you have the chance of a lifetime on November 23rd. A shot at the AEW World Championship. All your friends, all your fans, all your peers are depending on you. That pressure is building and you're cool as a cucumber. So I have to make an example out of Orange Cassidy. Yeah, I that's right. Here on November 23rd. And End I will him. make an example out of you at full gear, Orange Cassidy. I'm going to brutalize Orange Cassidy. Let's go. I'm going to stomp his face into hamburger meat. <laughs> I'm going to mutilate him so bad his own mother won't recognize Let's him. Let's go. 
And everybody will see that. Everybody who wants to call themselves a contender. Everybody who thinks they want to be somebody in this business. They will see that and they will run and hide. And we will continue to do whatever the hell we want in AEW. Because I command the AEW World Championship. And we have the power. Yeah! Uh, Let's see what he has to say. He's gonna, it's gonna be, like, be like, no. Yeah, he's like, as if his hand has been yeah. Forced, and I, I don't have a catchphrase. Pretty apparent, at least to me, Tony, that cool. no one is forcing John Moxley to do anything. He is making decisions, and he has made a decision to target. What did he say? Orange Cassidy just calmly walks out as he. No, does. I'm not an orange hater like you, but he shouldn't beat Moxley. I'll say that much. No. We need to do a repeat. Here we go. Briscoe, Rocky Romero, members of the conglomeration. Bring your friends. You got to against John Moxley and the Death Riders. Hello. See, I wanted to come out here and let you know, John, that I agree with you. I believe you. I believe you could do all the things you say you're going to do. And it's because of what's in that briefcase. What's in the briefcase? See, you hold the symbol that represents AEW, that represents me, represents us, represents all of these people. It represents everything that professional wrestling can be. It's the power. You hold the AEW World Championship. But see, we could fight all around this building. We could fight in the parking lot. We could fight in uh, catering. It doesn't matter because the only way you become AEW World Champion is by wrestling. And for a guy who doesn't like to wrestle, I wrestle more than anybody else here. And I'm pretty good at it too because uh, I beat you. Remember that? Nope. The only thing I remember is Orange Cassidy being, so being soaked in blood. I remember that. I remember that. You and I are going to wrestle. Yeah. Everybody's being and mean I'm to Wheeler. Beat you again. And I take the power back. Not gonna happen. No. No way. You told me a couple years ago that uh, while I was playing checkers, we we're playing chess, and there's still a couple of pawns I need to get rid of. I'll be pissed. One pawn if in particular. Orange Cassidy wins. And that's you, Wheeler Yuta. Pawn, pawn, yeah. Next week, you and I are gonna wrestle, Wheeler Yuta. And I'm going say to no. remove the pawn that lets me take the king. No one's pawn. I am no one's pawn. Hey, I believe you. He's a cutie. <laughs> Claudio's like, shut up, bro. <laughs> you see when he looked at him? Yeah. You want Wheeler you to next week? No. We'll see if you have the guts to pull the trigger on somebody you think is your friend. Either way, no matter what happens at full gear, I only got one message for you, one message for your friends, one message for anybody else who thinks they want what I got. On November 23rd, abandon all hope. Yeah. Yeah, why didn't he just say no? He's that an Orange Cassidy call the shots. John Moxley. I sure said no. If you want the match, go make Tony Khan give you the match. And rebuild it however he sees fit. But likewise, Orange Cassidy. So what do you think from that suitcase? Briefcase. A gun. You think it's a gun? I thought it was a hammer. I don't know. I don't think the belt will fit in there. The title won't fit in there. No way. Orange Cassidy is crew. Continue to walk towards the Dude. Room. How about that? What? Oh, yeah, Sting mask on. From out of the crowd. As Orange Cassidy, Mark Briscoe, yeah. Going after the Death Riders. This is absolute chaos. There's Wheeler Unit finally got his hands 
This you see that see, briefcase is tied to her hand. Oh, shit. It's got a handcuff to her hand, so they can't steal it from you. Just leaping. Leaping from the crowd to our right onto the pile. And this is a pretty incredible development. Where did Darby Allen come from? Oh, I don't know, but that I can see yeah. George Kelsey and the crew pushed their way towards John Moxley and pushed. They knew that Darby Allen was up top. It seems well, that way. A, a coordinated effort by Darby Allen and Orange Cassidy. Wow. Well, fans, we have to restore order. Wait a second. We're trying to restore order here, He's but like, the it, camera's idiot. following John Moxley, Marina Shafir to the outside. Who's driving? And now, Claudio Castagnoli. You guys better not leave fucking Catch Yuta there. Wheeler Yuta. Get he needs to hurry his ass up. Come on. They believe him without Wheeler Yuta. Oh. So they're living without Yuta. Darby Yuda, Allen's with him. Darby Allen. Darby, don't Go run right, right at Claudio Go. Castagnoli. Oh. Don't run right in the back of the oh, truck. Oh, no. Darby Allen is a lunatic. Oh, and he is what? Gonna, his spine. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Well. I thought he was going to hit his damn head Claudio on those, that rail. Where's Yuta? Just destroying. I mean, Darby I get Allen. it, but it's Darby like, don't be leave him behind. Come on. I don't know. I think it's leave a man behind. Well, remember, They're like, where are you taking too long? Allen Hurry up. Here he goes. New York City bus, and now finally with her Yuta. They were gonna leave him there. I would be pissed if I was you there. Yeah, they don't really respect you that much. They don't. Well, of course, of course, Darby Allen is still standing, but I mean, Claudio Castagnoli tried to end the career of Darby Allen right before our eyes. Let's, let's hear for the guys for event they take I don't know. What did you think about that segment right there? I, 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 you like it? It was kind of like. Well, I mean, we just took a look at the conglomeration. Uh, you know, let's take you back there. to one week ago where the conglomeration. So they are setting up Darby and Trios match with Claudio. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 oh, that's what Derek was saying. He wants to see Dar Darby and Claudio. Yeah, so I guess so they're going to have that match. It looks like that's And then what? Mark Briscoe and Big Bill. Nobody. Orange and Mox would prevail. And you saw there was there was ladders, oh, Pac, tables, Pac, chairs, and be packing and Marcus going. Because Pac, where is Pac? He wasn't all. here. He pinned Chris yeah. Jericho and he made the challenge for Jericho's Ring oh. of Honor World Championship. All right, all right. It's Ishii. Chris Jericho, <laughs> Ishii has issued a challenge to you in two weeks at Dynamite in Chicago for your Ring of Honor World Championship. Do you accept Ishii's challenge? Challenge. As the learning tree always says, a person's true self is not seen in moments of glory, but in moments of hardship and challenge. Well said, Redwood. And thanks, Renee. Is she, I've got a soft spot for you because we've known each other for almost 30 years since we were both working for Genshiro Tenru in WAR in Japan. Albeit, I was a huge main event star, and you were nothing more than a rookie, <laughs> a young boy who used to get me coffee, carry my bags, and even wash my back in the shower. <laughs> but she, you've gone on to become one of the toughest and best pro wrestlers in the world. I should know, because it was only two years ago that we had a classic match, uh, one of my favorite and no one way. of the toughest I've ever had. Also in Chicago. Was so that really two apropos, years ago? That in two weeks Holy on crap. It felt like last week. I do accept your challenge, Ishii. Did, man, they must have the had another Honor match, World too. Championship, yeah. Ishii, there was no way that was two years ago. Things as well, because now I've become the Nueve. <laughs> A nine-time world champion and two-time Ring of Honor world champion. So I'm going to invoke the glory and the courage of great ROH champions of the past, like Jay Briscoe. And I'm gonna do that while I teach you a learning tree lesson that you won't forget ever again. Ishii, in the Windy City, Chris Jericho's gonna blow your dumb ass away. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Thanks, guys. 
Yeah, tell us that Thank when he you. got chopped up and he was bloody, that was two years well, ago. Jericho accepting the challenge of Tommy That's Hero insane. Or, or didn't it happen tonight, again, like maybe a couple months ago? Tonight, the didn't they have another match? Kicks off uh, on wasn't it Ishii and Jericho, Chicago, and he got Illinois. busted in bloody, or was that someone else in Jericho? I remember he had it with uh, what's his name. Remember he got stuffed in the garbage can? Yeah. The doctor will see you now. All right, Brett, let's see what's up. You better bring it, girl. Let's see if she can earn your respect. Oh! What? Y'all got pyro anymore? For the DMV? I guess not. She just walked away for no reason. Bro! And was in line to Maybe they wouldn't let him have pyro with his place? Maybe. They should put like a lights or something. Fucking lasers and shit. Yeah. She looks amazing. Yeah. She looks fucking phenomenal. She looks awesome. Gear looks incredible. Let's go, Penelope. Hey, where's Nina? She's coming back. I think she's gonna do a match in Japan coming up soon. So, yeah, that would be cool. Made her return to the ring just a few weeks ago after a two. What do you think? Do you like her ring here? Yeah. She was successful in her first outing, but the match when she had her first sight Super bad. Out, the match with Jamie Hayter, one on one a week. That's her name. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Be planned, and she has a chance See? to right the ship to get back on track. So, I think tonight, she should jump off the top to ropes, against a hit a hurricanrana on world champion. Britt Baker, and, and throw her out of the ring onto the ground. Right now, all Man, to end her career. For the main event of Don't full piss gear. me off, Simply guys. Answer questions about the main event and get enough right to earn your share of $10,000 in prizes. Download the DraftKings app now, sign up with promo code DYNAMITE, and play free with an official partner of AEW. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Oh, Britt Baker! Whoa, quick roll up. Yeah, try to win it quickly. Not a bad idea. Both ladies have overcome uh, injuries and illnesses to get wow. in the ring. Very important match for both young ladies here. Baker's had a plenty of obstacles since returning to action. Originally inspired to be professional wrestler by Mercedes Monet. Must have been upset. She was unable to beat her at all in Wembley Stadium. But uh, thankfully, from what I understand, seeing all the teeth at ringside, she gave out business cards afterwards. Ow, she that looks until like 2020. it hurts. <laughs> Also, it's okay for you to make fun of British people's teeth, but no one else can. It is, because right, I've got eaten his teeth. <laughs> All right, now, Britt Baker. This is a technical masterpiece. Uh, yeah. Hammers out. And now takes control of the wrist of Dr. Britt Baker. Sorry, I'm DMD. chomping this gum like crazy. Y'all don't know, I used to do nicotine all the time. Oh, I'm stopped, so I'm chewing bubble right gum. Jaw. Britt with a smile on her face. And look, now the gritting of the teeth. She is determined. Is Britt Baker. Hammer throw of the ropes. Reverse. Britt comes under. Neat. Neck breaker. Penelope caught unawares on that one. You see Penelope on the back of the... The head, the neck there. Come on, Penelope. Some frustration setting in, perhaps. She came in hot last week. Ford taking a time here. Oh, Not allowing. Uh, Come on, Britt Baker. Penelope's do taking something. Time, but Britt, it seems, take, takes the bait. Following Penelope to the outside. Penelope content to play some cat and mouse. Allowing Britt to tire herself out. Oh, look at her. Trying to do it again. She's playing. You know, we don't know the this is ring psychology. That's right. That Britt Baker suffered, but if it was a respiratory illness. She's frustrating her conditioning. Not all there, Nigel. Maybe a wise move by Penelope. Might be. Maybe Penelope Ford knows something we don't know. That's Penelope looking to drag Britt to the outside. Oh, oh Penelope. Penelope! Big elbow strike catching Britt right over the ear. Yeah, Britt a little oh, overzealous no. trying to grab her. Yeah! Oh, that's yeah. That's that time. Hell yeah. That's a big knee coming through. Knees Hell yeah. Across the midsection of Dr. Britt Baker, and this match continues in PIP. P.I.P. Picture in picture. Oh. The NBA Cup. The Cavs take on the champs. Then the Thunder and Spurs square off in Texas. The Emirates NBA Cup. Coverage begins Tuesday at 6.30. Regular season games presented by State Farm on TNT. Grab your ruby slippers. We're off to see the wizard. Man, the this, story um, of the girl, this match is a little bit boring and shitty. Yeah, it's a little weird. Wow. Well, are you going to wear your ruby slippers? No, I will. Who are you going to blame? <laughs> Britt Baker. Saturday at 8 on TBS. 
Introducing Jersey Mike's Chipotle Pastrami with hey, tangy look. mayo and the classic pastrami with spicy brown mustard. That's a hot brisket cut pastrami if you're the for ex-champ, and a pastrami for you. The new classic and you're supposed to be and Chipotle hot pastrami shit for a limited and like, time. The real big Jersey deal. Mike's. To help protect you should be able to put on a good I match with Penelope. With aptitude. Am I right? She should be whooping Penelope's ass, turning this into like a, daily prep pills. a real match? One shot every other yeah. Month, just yeah. Just and Jamie Hayter looked pretty studies, good with Aperture Penelope. Was proven superior yeah, that was to awesome. Daily prep pill and reducing the risk of HIV. She leveled Penelope's ass. She really did. When she hit her with that freaking clothesline, it looked like it about killed her. What did she call it? Is that the hater aid or something? I don't know. Infections. Practice safer sex to reduce your risk. Get yeah, you need to practice schedule. safe sex. That's what they're saying on this show. HIV risk. Don't take Apertude if allergic to it. Or take it. I guess it just feels like there's a lot of lulls in the match. Conditions. Yeah, Liver I haven't been able to get into it. Stop. Serious and side stops. effects include allergic reactions or rash, liver problems, and depression. If these occur, get medical help right away. The most common side effect is injection site reaction. Dude, this commercial's long as shit. Long acting Apertude and prep without pills. Save at Apertude.com. Your gut is like a garden. Your Growing what? It's like a garden? And bad. <laughs> that balance is key Your to a gut. healthy gut environment. Oh. Benefibers plant-based so you know, I don't hear that well. Nourish <laughs> with bacteria, working with your body to help your gut and you flourish effortlessly every day. Grow what feels good with Benefiber. I mean... Man, I bet the crowd sounds horrible. Oh, during this match, they're probably all going to pee and get Into beer. Your home yeah. Is delivered at the speed you need. Only from the home Look, I like Penelope. I'm a fan. You really I, I think, think she, she we like were talking about her earlier. Without a doubt. And Kip, and well, I don't know. I just, I like, like some of the people who've been around for a long time. Yeah. Just because they've been on AEW. You know, back in like they were on Dark and like. You know what I mean? You gotta have some respect. They've been here for a long time. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I I'm just waiting for the match to start. <laughs> From the Lint Master Chocolatier, Discover Excellence. Expect delicious. Every time you order a hot sub from Jersey Mike's, Dude, it's this commercial fresh. shut I up. call it dinner and a show. Look at that sizzle. Eat. That dude got smaller. Or do you think they just tried to make him look smaller for the show? I think he actually did get smaller. Oh God, who wrote that? Some people said that Bill Murray should have ran for president. Not as terrible. That's what someone told me. Does everyone likes Bill Murray? He should have ran for president. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I just saw him on that commercial. Connecticut, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, Super Bad, Penelope Ford, both women. Looking to right the ship, continue the climb here in the women's division of all elite wrestling. Penelope Ford with the advantage, or at least momentarily, right. as Britt Baker turns the tables. Women's division better than it's ever what? been. Mina Shirakawa is here. Britt, we mentioned Britt's last week she was messing around. Home. I don't know what You're she's doing. Her right after oh, this match is concluded. As Britt takes down Penelope Ford two consecutive times now. It feels Ford like that's all she's got strikes. right now. These Some punches and that's, and that's it. Reversing Britt. Nope. Britt reverses. Comes around the Dog shit. That blade. looked horrible. I mean, Winner sorry. I don't want to be like that, but it wasn't that good. And fans, if you are in the Arlington, Texas area, you could join us. It looks pretty bad. Am I wrong? That sling blade looked pretty bad. Look like she didn't really get it. Ooh, yeah. And she didn't the Kick last party. dynamite before full gear with everyone else at the biggest watch party in oh, Texas. Ooh, oh, damn. That was jaw first. Bro. Jaw first. Britt Baker hit hard. Baker was spelling out DMD instead. Penelope Ford. Oh, you missed. Oh. Back handspring elbow connecting with the jaw of Britt Okay. Baker, as does the running boot in the corner. Now Penelope Ford oh. regaining hey, momentum. Hey, hey, hey. That's illegal. Oh, no. Fireman's carry has Britt up on the shoulders. Britt's in trouble here, guys. At least, well, she was momentarily. The ripcord. Elbow strike. Penelope stunned as Britt accelerates. Uh -oh. Rolling elbow down. Penelope. Oh, no. That was not cover. good, guys. And now Penelope into a pinning predicament. One, two. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Momentary hesitation there by Penelope Ford may have cost her. Was it? Was it Penelope? It didn't look like it. Has to keep moving forward. Yeah, I mean, down. what is she supposed Don't to do? She's gas. bent she and doing her thing. It's not on her. Kind of to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to say anyone's here. botching, but there's only so much Penelope, Penelope can do in that situation. Uh. Nobody home. 
as Britt Baker, the thrust kick, Penelope. Oh, just slapped her in I the face. I don't know, man. Penelope. I feel bad because I know that Britt Baker's back coming back from an injury. Yeah. But I guess Baker. I just wonder, like, why did she decide to come back to wrestle Penelope when she could come back and be a manager? She could come back and... I don't know. Stir and up some shit. Know, this, is, this typically precedes the lockjaw from Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. But... Penelope <laughs> drop kick to the back. Britt wasted a little too much time uh, there. No. <laughs> As Penelope. Look at this. The moon Cap moon out, Britt. The of the ring. Britt Baker. <laughs> she oh, 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 oh. Britt guys. No, she the lock me. Jaw. What a counter. She's got that pressure down on the mandibular man. nerve of Penelope Ford. What an incredible counter. Britt yeah, she didn't even Britt. know what she was and doing. So what do you rank that? Was that a five-star uh, classic? No, and like I said, it's like Brit, it's like when she signs a contract for a match, it well, says I will fucking win no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I rank that. I don't want to be a hater. You all know if you watch the show, I probably like women's wrestling more than almost anyone you know. Not almost all my favorite wrestlers are women. But I rate that match is a one-star match. That was pretty terrible. Yeah, Britt, you want to try to get technical. Yeah, go do it with her. You'll look like a joke. You know, you know what I think it is with Britt? She really does need, like, a good storyline with it. To make her matches, like, awesome, she really needs that drama. Look, if Britt Baker wants to be technical, go with fucking Serena Deeb, and then yeah. you'll learn how to be technical. Yeah, yeah, go come back in another year. Like, try... Like, if... Sir, She's gonna beat Serena Deeb too. Exactly. Nina, sure. How? Nina. <laughs> Nina, it is so great to have you. See, Nina has, has manners and is respectful here. towards Renee. Renee. Yes. I'm a smile so match. I'm so excited for her match against Anna J on Collision. I will be cheering for her, and then we'll have big champagne celebration. <laughs> Woo! For you. <laughs> <laughs> Nina Hirakawa. You know, some people say that you are the Harley Cameron of Japan. Well, welcome to the Harley Cameron of Harley Cameron. <laughs> what? Never mind! But since you'll be here for Collision, why don't you feel the wrath of Harley Cameron? Me and you? Yes. You and me. Tit for tit. Rock him up and may the best woman win! I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> Oh, see you. Well, now Renee Paquette knows exactly how I feel when you two are at the desk. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I forgot all about this, dude. That that Brett Baker match drained my soul. I really did. And now she's gonna go and beat Serena D, who is probably one of the best wrestlers in the division, but nobody respects her. Yeah, I just. I, I try to. Look, you don't have the coffee. They must have told him. Leave that shit in the back, dude. You look like a fool. A very interesting matchup that came about. Yeah, they're like, we're not endorsing your Yeah, stop, stop showing off with your coffee every week. Once again, dubbing himself the man of the hour. <laughs> like, Unless you give Tony Khan a cut of him. Oh, oh, they want coffee. He, he planted that sign. Yeah, he paid someone. And he was on Look, I'm not trying to be a hater. I, I hope he has a, 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 amazing success with this coffee. I'm sure he is. And everyone should buy it. I'm just saying. It looks kind of silly when he brings it out. Yeah. He had, like, his coffee. Yeah. And yeah, he, he's going to start having a percolator. But like they start pouring, giving cups to everybody. This is a 100-cup coffee maker here. It's insane. Swerve's going to reach in his pocket, throw his coffee ground on people's face, blind them. Yeah, he'll put the whole beans on the yeah, yeah, yeah. they slip and slide. That's then he shakes the bag and they think it's thumbtacks and it's coffee beans. I will hurt Swerve Strickland. I would think that Swerve Is this the main event? I have no idea. No, because they still have the FTR. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Lashley in the background, but right now, worry about him coming up next Saturday, Justin. And his opponent. From Washington, D.C. You know who else is from Washington, D.C.? 
Nyla Rose. And Swerve, right? Really? No, no, Swerve. Oh, no, 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 He's no, from no, Seattle. Yeah. Okay, Jack kind of jacket is that? I don't know, but he looks cool. Like, he looks like an anime character. He looks like an evil demon from an anime. <laughs> that jacket's probably like $5,000. Oh, yeah. Crazy, like, high fashion thing we don't know about. And they've been handing out quite a few business cards. Leo Rush, as we mentioned, received one. Okay, so Leo Rush did get a card. Yeah, because he used to be with... Oh. Mercedes Monet. Like I said, he used to come out with Bobby Lashley. So a lot of potential like, for a fourth member of the you guys tell me, I forget Leo everything. But I'm pretty sure he used to come out with Bobby Lashley. Good as and like talk and stuff. The aggressive side of Leo Rush. Well, Leo has looked good. He's on a two-match winning streak. Big wins over Commander and Arya Davari on collision 11 days ago. Well, let's be honest. He beat Swerve Commander? Strickland, the former AEW Who, who's Leo? Swerve? Was the oh, first man, maybe. Is that what they said? Yeah. The MVP approached about joining the Hurt Syndicate. That's got to tell you something. And of course, Swerve Strickland rejecting that offer from MVP, and that led to the match with Bobby Lashley wow. coming up in 10 days' time, Saturday, November 23rd. Dude, if I tried to turn as fast as Leo Rush, I'd blow my knee. You know what I mean? Bobby yeah, that's a lot of pressure to hit those shifts like that. Wrestling ring and fans, you can so join fast. us for full gear on ppv.com. Scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen and join us. For full gear one week from this coming Saturday night, oh. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. As Swerve takes control what? of Leo Rush, Leo slips behind. Now Leo sends what? Swerve. What? That was Swerve. sick. Wow. Yeah, change of direction, much like Leo Rush. He's like, I can do it too. A little, little tit for tat, perhaps. Between these two men who know each other so well, mentor, mentee, as we mentioned, Nigel, but also men that have traveled not just around the United States, Dude, not just he's so the fast. East, but it's crazy. Together. And they oh! share oh, 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 oh. That was sick. Hell yeah. Strickland. <laughs> Hell yeah. Matching one another step for step. Yeah, it just shows you how much they know it. Oh, look at this. Leo going for the eyes. Thanks. So much for that friendship, that mentorship. Who mentored who? I don't know what the they're saying. Let us know in the comments who mentored who in this situation. That's what they're talking about. To that ring apron, Did Swerve mentor Leo, Leo, Rush, Leo Rush or Leo Rush mentor toward Swerve? That's what I want to know. They probably said so, but I couldn't hear it because I have a hard time listening and watching at the same time. I was going to say it could. End up in a swerve stop later on in this match, but Swerve going for it very early, and Swerve gets his leg straight up from under him. Crashes to the floor. Leo Rush taking Swerve Strickland out of play, and fans Damn. are sticking with all the action. In picture in picture, don't go anywhere. You're going to be the best wrestler this world has ever seen. Oh, I still haven't watched that we, show. We videotaped it, right? Or uh, DVR'd it, right? I think so. It's on our, it's on our thing. We can watch it. Saturday at midnight. Y'all want us to watch it and make a review? It's showtime. See what would happen. Job sales early Black Friday special. Yeah. Maybe. It's up to 40% off. And find something for everyone on your holiday list, including the most important person, you. That's right. Only at sales. They're like, ain't no one buying you no jewelry. Buy it for yourself, you loser. Who's buying jewelry these days? I don't know. Me. I buy it and I just put it in the safe. Just for fun. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to put your money in the bank. Buy babe? gold. Cars yeah. Cars.com. What's wrong with this one? I just got promoted, so I'm looking for something more. Ciao. Ciao. Two million cars for two million possibilities. Cars.com. Where to next? I have a surprise for you. Oh, yes, please. I hate this please commercial. This. Oh, that's sexy. What? Why feels do they so gotta new. make it all perverted? Feel again Why and are again. those kids it's listening at the doorway? How bad do you wanna hold it? I'm not gonna beg, but pretty Gross. Cool. Don't. Go like, ahead, why would they the sit there and be listening? Oh, Disgusting. it's glowing. Apple intelligence. We should do this more often. Agreed. We hate that. Feeling of love with the new iPhone 6 Gross, Pro dude. And fill it again and again with the latest iPhone every year with AT&T next up anytime. He's like, it's a perfect fit. Remember, trainees, 
We don't wish for it. We work for She's like, it looks so big in my hand. Ew. I mean, it's the iPhone. She's got the miniature one. I don't know. And also like a great I mean, the extra big one. Switch and save today. Great Maybe I need a new iPhone. What do you think? Thinking about it. Switch and save today. Which is that one? The 15? I, I think so. Any press it's changed our lives. Glenn, focus. Switch and save. Get more. Come on, I want to watch this yeah. match, not this bullshit. This is a new era of college basketball. Damn. So let's celebrate. It Leo's kicks look players. crazy. Hell yeah. This is the Players Era Festival. We have some fantastic <laughs> matchups on tap. Oh, man. We are witnessing a battle between former friends Leo Rush and Swerve Strickland at one time. They were very close, perhaps as close as brothers, but right now it seems like Leo Rush will take any advantage that he's at, that he can to take out the former AEW World Champion to draw the attention of the Hurt Syndicate. Oh. Maybe then. Capitalize on his golden chicken. Yeah, I don't like how they have to picture in picture straight to a commercial. That's bullshit. And fans, speaking of golden tickets, you can get a golden ticket to all in Texas. The VIP experience. Oh my god. Will be this coming once in November 20th. Good lord. Well, you know, Leo Rush is pretty light. So you can pick him up heavy. Pick him up and make it look real heavy. But he just looks so like all in Texas. Clean, you know? what? Oh, Second, they said all in Texas. I thought they said Austin. To be insider today as 12 2. We got to right put that on the calendar. The VLP sale next Wednesday. Remind me. Ooh. Larry signed up again. again. Oh. oh. Leo had lost his opponent. He had no idea where Swerve was. He was turning around and almost in circles that time. And it, it cost him. And Nigel, that's oh when no! An like Swerve Strickland or perhaps this is gonna be bad. Like the most dangerous win. Oh, okay. They are out of your field of view when they're in the periphery. Yeah, always. He did some couple of He's been in some of the most brutal battles in AEW history. Oh, oh. 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 one, two. Leo using Swerve size and speed against him and coming away with a near fall. Both Rush and Prince Nana on the outside. Prince Nana who continues to desperately ride the coattails of the former EW World Champion. He coming our way. Watch oh, out. No. Oh no. Oh no. Footing on our desk, but Swerve Strickland. No, he's um, up. The power bomb. No, Leo escapes. I think Leo saved his life that time. Oh, oh my Leo God. Oh, oh my god! I thought someone was getting a broken neck right there. Oh man, that was scary. God damn. Nobody should be You're like, damn. Least of all us. I really thought I was about to witness a bad injury. Wall to wall action. Oh god, that sounded like it hurt. One, two, what if he won? Yeah, ain't no way. He ain't gonna win. Got out of that because Leo Rush was on target, and he's not sure either. Look at his eyes. Oh god! Uh, remember, Leo Rush is not in there with the man that I forgot. That Alan Cole, he, he lost there earlier. Right. Hello? He's in there with Swerve Come on. Whom very yeah, Swerve is way bigger than he used to be too. Champion. Really? Yeah, yeah. A man who on November 23rd will face Bobby Lashley at full gear as Leo uh -oh. looking for the stunner. Do you think he's going to join the Hurt Syndicate? Who, Leo Rush? Leo Rush? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Leo engages some hand fighting there. Body shot Maybe. by Swerve. Oh. I don't think so. Leo. I don't see it, but and it would Swerve be cool. For big pressure, but instead Leo countered with a hand on the ropes. And Leo once again trying to take a shortcut as Swerve. Brings Leo up. He's got that half, half Nelson in. Oh, that looks sick. But Leo. Comes oh, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> that rule. He's so creative. He's, he's, he's really good. Really Leo Rush has really made a statement. Win, lose, or draw in this match. Leo. Looking for the runner again. Didn't have the momentum. Oh, my God. Swerve. Oh, my God. Oh, my Counters. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh it's over. Three. That looks sick. 
do. Big pressure, big win. First swerve, Strickland. I'm going to have to rewatch that because that was awesome. Yeah. That certainly gives the former AEW world champion some momentum. As he looks ahead, can you imagine that? Yeah, doing that to somebody, ending yeah. someone in that way. It, it's so it. dominant. But could not. Where? Seems like everybody gets the bright idea that now that I'm back, they want to come for the former AEW world champion and the baddest man in AEW. They want to use my name, my equity, and my accolades to prove a point. Leo Rush just tried and he just failed. A couple weeks ago, Shelton Benjamin tried to make a name off of my name and he got laid down too. Laid down, that's a little personal. Seems like going to have to remind a lot of people whose house it is. That leads me to you, Bobby Lashley. Like it says right there, one week from Saturday, we got full gear. But I don't know, Stanford, Connecticut, I feel like I need to give these people a fight with him tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Bobby Lashley, bring your ass down here right now. Because I'm not running and then there's nowhere to hide. They, they ain't coming out. They ain't doing the match. Yeah, he's called him out. I believe there's going to be an answer here, guys. But even with Prince not at his side, Swerve Strickland still outnumbered by the Hurt Syndicate. Um, this doesn't seem like a smart decision after a very rough match against Leo Rush. I agree. Well, there's MVP and Bobby Lashley, but where is Shelton Benjamin? We saw him earlier tonight. Yeah, we know he's here. He's getting me behind you. Swerve, if you want to fight with a member of the syndicate, all you got to do is ask me and I'll set it up for you. You see, Swerve? We really, really like you a lot. What do you say? And to be honest, the reason that we recruited you is because you've got so much oh, man, I can't, potential. Oh, I can't understand. But one of the things that we wanted to teach you, well, well, it looks still, I'm sorry, it looks like the almighty Bobby Lashley is ready to fight right now. So we don't have to wait two weeks. But there's a lesson for you to learn. And one of the lessons we were trying to teach you is that there's strength in numbers. But you haven't learned that lesson yet. He's about to get but you're gonna attacked. Learn that. Of course. Hello, Nana, why didn't you say I know, he can't even look behind him. Not surprising at all. And swerve, he was so locked in on Bobby Lashley. Oh, God. <laughs> swerve Strickland blinded by Bravado. And now Bobby Lashley manhandling Swerve Strickland. This does not look good for Swerve. God coming dang. Up a week from Saturday. Now no, Bobby is making I, Swerve look honest, like Swerve made Leo. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah true. Called him out. Asked for it. Sure did. That's but that's the way Swerve is. Meanwhile, that clown Prince Nana begging for his life from Sheldon Benjamin. Yeah, Nana, what are they cheering? I can't hear anything. MVP right now. DDT. Oh, look at that. It's Nana desperately trying to save himself. Oh, don't get, come on. They're making not a watch. So he this. thinks the Hurt Syndicate oh, people Lashley. like them more than Swerve? I think they might. Such Maybe. What do y'all think? Oh, Whose house? 
Lashley is incredible. Now, Lashley, the full Nelson is cinched in. Oh, and yeah. Gets this on you. There, there's no tomorrow. Will that really that work? What, waiting for Nelson? Immediately going to to go make you pass out? No, but it would break your neck. Okay. Maybe you could make Benjamin someone pass out him. if you push their neck in hard they enough. The they couldn't breathe. Like this? Yeah. As Lashley ah! just turning the lights out. Swerve I can't understand what they're saying back there. And Nigel, you asked the question, whose house? Perhaps the almighty Bobby Lashley's house. Somebody else has moved into the neighborhood. No, 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 no. no. Benjamin and Bobby Lashley facing you. Referee Corps, the security crew. Prince out of the dick and bomb. Throw his ass out of the ring. <laughs> He's like, I need to make sure I clack all the stuff all the way down. The, the apron, the steps, and crashes to the floor, courtesy of the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, the Hurt Syndicate living up to their name tonight on Dynamite. What will the case be? One week from this Saturday night when Bobby Lashley goes one-on-one -on -one with Swerve Strickland. I think this, the lyrics for their song, for their theme Dynamite, is, We Hurt People. Oh, that's what it says. Can I have one of those? Yeah, yeah. Before we get there, let's return it's to like the I get your teeth chopped up. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> get up in places. Guys, joining me now, please welcome Jamie Hayter. Let's go. Smashing. Right back at you. you. <laughs> Jamie, congratulations on your win over Penelope Ford last week. Uh, big question. What is next for Jamie Hayter? Hmm. I think that's a question that's on everybody's list because did you not think I was going to win last week? Did I not do what I said I was going to do? And I'm going to continue to do what I said I was going to do. It's no secret. I came back here to right the wrongs, and yeah, I've done a couple of them, not all. That's for the future, but for the right now, hmm, I'm thinking I'm coming after one thing. Um, oh, Julia Hart's back! Is that what it is? How did you know it was gonna be a Julia Hart promo? I don't know. I felt it in my black heart. Hello? Julia. Brody? It's time to come home. What do you mean it's time to come home? I don't even know where, where I am right now. The blood on my shirt and the craziest dreams. My Who is doing, who is writing these? She's doing that. Probably Malachi. What? 